welcome back. Today I'll be starting a quick little season of Genesis 6 through 7. Today we'll be talking about Genesis 6, so let's hop right into it. So, as we know in the first couple of chapters in Genesis, that sin entered the world. But here in Genesis 6, we're going to find out that sin's only going to get worse. And what's happening now is that men are having multiple wives, we're abandoning God, we're mocking God, and we don't even care about Him anymore. Most people in the world haven't even heard about his name. And let's see what God says. So basically, through Genesis chapter 6, verse 1 through 6, God is basically saying that he was displeased with mankind. So we are abandoning him, and he's displeased with us, and he's not happy with us. I mean, how would you feel? You created something, and then it turns its back on you. Well, let's move on. So. As it says in Genesis chapter 6, verse 7 through 8, it says, So the Lord said, I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race which I have created. So God is very displeased with us and our wicked actions, so he's wiping the human race which he has created from the earth. And then it later goes on to say in verse 7, that and with them the animals, the birds, and the creatures that move along the ground, for I regret that I have made them. Whoa. So we read that and we're basically thinking that God regrets making us, which he does, and that he's gonna wipe us from the face of the earth and kill us. Well, that's not what he's meaning. He's not abandoning us. What he means is that God wasn't abandoning us. He was feeling sorrow for our wicked actions. Our wicked actions of having multiple wives, which he said we couldn't do, abandoning him, and forgetting about his name. So he's going to wipe the human race from the earth. So if you read this and you're still thinking that God is abandoning us and that he doesn't care about us, wrong. He's feeling sorrow for us and our wicked actions, and he wants to start over. So although we think that now all of human race is going to be wiped out. There's still one righteous man in the earth, and this is where Noah takes place. Noah's first mentioned in Genesis chapter 5, but I'm not going to read that because it's kind of boring because it's just talking about his uh, family line. So Noah was a righteous man, and he still believed in Jesus or in God and prayed to him, and he didn't abandon him. He had one wife, and in God's eyes, he was righteous. So God came to Noah and told him his plan about wiping the human race from the earth. So he told Noah to build an ark, which is basically a big, huge boat, and he told Noah to make it out of cypress wood, which is a type of wood. So he told Noah to make it 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits tall. So we don't use cubits nowadays, so if you're confused on what cubits are, that's okay because I don't know either. So just to show us what it, how big it actually is, is 300 cubits long is actually 450 feet. So we're talking about two football fields long, huge. And then 50 cubits um, wide is 75 feet wide. 30 cubits tall is basically 45 feet tall. So imagine this boat. This boat would take up like a whole neighborhood. That's how big it is. So that's basically everything for Genesis chapter 6, except that this is what God also said to Noah. When you build the ark, you're going to take two of each kind of animal, each species. One's going to be a female and one's going to be a male so that they can reproduce and refill the earth. So that's it for Genesis chapter 6. And if you want to, there's like a display of the ark and... Um, a different state here in America and the link will be up above and if you want to visit it just click on that and it'll send you to its website the directions and everything will be there and thanks for watching this video make sure to like it and Genesis chapter 7 the second part of this series is going to be either this weekend probably next week between Monday through Friday so stay tuned to our channel and thank you and have a great day.